Let's find out how fonts work. It's always been a mystery to me how the smooth, curvy characters of a font can be stored in a file, and why it's possible to zoom in infinitely into a font. What you are looking at are glyphs. Most letters are represented by a single glyph. A glyph consists of one or more line loops, called contours. The letter A has two contours, the outer contour and the inner contour. The letter B has three contours. Each glyph is represented by points inside the font file. But if the glyphs are represented by points, why do we see smooth curves? The answer is the magic of Bezier. Freya Holmes has very beautiful and detailed videos on Bezier curves, but we only need to know one simple approach. We need two points at the ends and one middle point. When I move this middle point around, the curve moves too. I can zoom in infinitely on this curve and it always stays smooth. This is why we can zoom in infinitely onto fonts. Drawing a Bezier curve looks hard, but it's actually easy. We move a point from A to B, let's call this point D. We move another point from B to C, let's call this point E. We draw a line between D and E, and then we move another point F along this line. The path that F moves along is the Bezier curve. Mathematically, we can move a point along a line between two points by creating a linear interpolation function, or lerp for short. The lerp function takes in the start point, the end point, and a parameter t. t defines how far along the line we want to move. When t is 0, lerp outputs the start point. When t is 1, lerp outputs the end point, and we're going to vary t smoothly from 0 to 1. So the position of d given t is simply lerp a, comma b, comma t. The position of e is lerp b, comma c, comma t. And lastly, f is lerp d, comma e, comma t. F is the Bezier curve. That's it. You can see that the endpoints A and C lie on the Bezier curve. The middle point B is off the curve. I've colored the on curve points in green and the off curve point in red. If we go back to our glyph, I've used the same colors to show the on curve and off curve points. Currently, I'm drawing lines through all the points, but now we know that the red points are off curve points that specify the Bezier curves. Let's switch to using Bezier curves. And there we go. We now have a beautifully smooth and curvy glyph. So now we know how to draw the smooth curves of the loops that form the glyphs that form the letters in a font. And we can zoom into our letter. Now there are a bunch of details. Since font files were designed when computer storage was very expensive, so there are a bunch of tricks to compress the points associated with the glyphs as much as possible. If you're interested in those tricks, I recommend you check out Sebastian Lug's video called Text Rendering. And if you got this far into my video, please encourage me with a thumbs up.